Hello everyone, here is a question based on stereochemistry. What is the total number of possible stereoisomers of dimethyl cyclopentanes? First of all, this is not a difficult question, but at the same time, if you are not very clear about the concept of meso compounds, enantiomers, and the difference between stereoisomers and structural isomers, then there are plenty of opportunities to make a mistake on questions like this. Let me write a structural isomer for dimethyl cyclopentane. The reason I am showing this isomer is because if you are not very clear about the concept of stereo isomerism and structural isomerism, then you would be making a mistake on questions like this. So, this is a structural isomer. This is not a stereo isomer because this molecule is achiral. There is no chiral center in this molecule. Therefore, this should not be included in the count at all. So, let me remove this. Now, we can write 1 comma 2 dimethyl cyclopentane with the both the methyl groups up. If we do that, then we are having two chiral centers now, isn't it? This is a chiral center, this is also a chiral center. So, therefore, 2 to the power n, we expect 4 isomers, but are we gonna get 4 isomers? No, because this is a meso compound, the molecule has a plane of symmetry, half of the molecule is a mirror image to the other half. So, what will happen when we have mesomer? We will not get the maximum isomers 4. We will get only 3 isomers, isn't it? Because one of them is a meso compound. This one as well as this one are identical. Whether you put the methyl groups, both the methyl groups up or both the methyl groups down, they are one and the same. Because you can reach to this one if you rotate the molecule 180 degree whether you are rotating clockwise or counterclockwise, it does not matter. If you rotate 180 degree along the plane of symmetry, then you can get the other one. So, that means both are identical, both are meso, both are identical. So, therefore, this must be counted as one isomer. This is a chiral. I am just writing it. That does not mean that these are two isomers. This is one isomer, okay? Because if you just rotate 180 degree, you can reach to the other one and we can clearly superimpose both of them. Because half of the molecule is a mirror image to the other half, the net optical activity of meso compound will always be 0. And then we can also get a pair of enantiomers. If you put one methyl group up and one methyl group down, then we can get a pair of enantiomers. So, let us say this methyl group is up and then this methyl group is down and let us assume that this is our mirror plane. Then the mirror image will be like this and these are non-superimposable mirror images. That means, these are enantiomers. So, therefore, this must be considered as two stereoisomers, enantiomers. Likewise, we can write 1 comma 3 dimethyl cyclopentane with both the methyl groups up. That would once again will become a meso compound, isn't it? If both the methyl groups are up or both the methyl groups are down, they are one and the same, they are identical. And this is a meso compound once again, because once again we have a plane of symmetry. This is the plane of symmetry now. So, if you rotate 180 degree, then we can get this one. But that does not mean that this is a different isomer. This is one and the same. These two are identical, meso a chiral. Now, let us put one methyl group up, one methyl group down. So, number 5. So, if you are writing like this, let us say one methyl group down, one methyl group up, for the 1 comma 3 case, then once again we will get a pair of enantiomers. Let us say this is our mirror plane and then this would be the mirror image. These two are enantiomers because they are non-superimposable, therefore they are enantiomers. So, therefore, this must be considered as two isomers. So, in total we can get six isomers. Therefore, the correct answer is six. Two of them are a chiral, four of them are chiral. Even though it is a chiral, it should still be considered as a stereoisomer. Just because a molecule is a chiral having chiral centers, it does not mean that it is not a stereoisomer. It is a stereoisomer, okay. Meso compounds are indeed stereoisomers. The net optical activity goes to zero because half of the molecule is a mirror image to the other half of the molecule. 